<sighs> tricky, tricky. Okay, so let's take a look at the analysis of that last blitz match. Uh, this was one of those types of games where I felt like I kept on giving away any type of advantage or equalization in the game and I was hoping that basically my experience may sort of like show out towards the end game because they may struggle a little bit with the end game so fingers crossed that's what I was hoping on but this beginning part mid mid part uh, a little bit sketchy I believe but we're gonna have a look and see what the computer thinks so push through grabbed and the queen grabbed so that's all pretty straightforward so we're attacking the queen and at this point here I'm thinking okay this is going to be okay for us we've we've gained advantage because the queen is just doing all this dancing around queen can't do it by itself but I, I believe I let it slip somewhere during the transition to the uh, mid game I think so they brought the bishop through we castle it's all pretty straightforward I was going to challenge the queen you know with the position from here but I did think that he's got an easy get out so I'm just trying to develop my pieces as best possible before even thinking about that manoeuvre so a smaller piece attacking a higher piece computer seems to be working with us at this moment but doesn't really like didn't really like that poor move did it no it's okay with that but it doesn't like the knight move coming here yeah so this was where I was deliberating around whether coming to this side or not so let me see d5 so it's actually plumping for pushing onto the pawn here that didn't come into my rolodex at all um, again another small type of maneuver that it's throwing in there and uh, that didn't really register i was looking at trying to get the big fish either way by attacking here if he forgets himself we take the queen and then looking to get the exchanges off so this is probably where I fell afterwards that I just gave away any type of advantage but let's see what the computer says so they push back and then we brought the knight across doesn't like that it's saying it's a draw at this stage so they capture capture queen captures captures there yeah so it's uh, showing the slightest of advantages minus point two that's nothing to shout at, shout about really so we press on to the bishop showing a bit of an advantage there we start pushing our knight up and this is where it starts getting ugly yeah there we go so pushing on to the bishop just before this stage i thought ah you've messed it up somehow you've messed it up and when i was thinking of this particular move here i forgot that the knight was there so was looking to maybe potentially do an exchange here but then obviously the bishops targeted a pawn here so i've left the piece under unprotected so i'm trying to hold fingers crossed that i maybe can get some sort of power base on this uh, open file with the rook so we grab the bishop off the ball because uh, there's a, a load of trouble coming our way if they do forget themselves we can take the bishop on this side here but they don't so we push forward now because we're wanting to get our bishop into this particular space to try and cause some hassle he sees this i could have actually brought my bishop here at that point after i'd moved the rook but uh no ma no matter so it's showing that we're slightly advantaged minus 0.6 but it's feeling a little bit sketchy for me during the game so i'm looking to try and get his pieces off as best possible trying to use the power of the rook on this open file at the minute bishop comes down and protects with a check but I'm noticing that he's not really developing his pieces and his rooks are now kind of folded in onto the back rank. So probably the slightest of advantages if I could try and get my rooks working together, get my bishops working together. So he starts moving the knight out. So I'm now looking for a discovered check with our bishop onto his king. But he moves the king out of the way. And for a split second I was actually going to come here because obviously if he hadn't moved i could come here to get his bishop off and i was about to actually uh, move the rook uh, so we move up now we're attacking the pawn here attacking this pawn here we have bishop attacking here so basically that's um, like a two-pronged attacking if you like so he brings his knight down to block so we take it off i'm just trying to simplify because we still have this here looking potentially to try and get the rook on this side so we bring the rook up 
looking for any type of back rank checkmate thing but then you know realizing again his bishop is blocking this area here so not feeling too good about it but it's still showing minus 0.5 so we're not losing um, but in my head i was thinking we need to move quickly in order to gain any type of advantage because he's got things blocked off whether inadvertently or not so he captures the pawn we capture back so at this stage here it's minus 1.2 so we're we're climbing up um, but it didn't feel like that during the game still there was nothing clear we've got the advantage in terms of having the rooks on the back but he does have a defense here and then they bring their rook down and i'm thinking i don't know what that was and it's showing minus 8.1 like a massive win i don't think i actually took the massive win move but uh, we attacked the rook just to see if he wants to exchange and that went down to minus 0.8 so that's a massive drop a massive drop from minus 8.1 what would it be rook e8 where's rook e8 oh coming around the back here to go here <laughs> yeah in a, yeah i mean it's all a blitz match and i think i have plenty of time four minutes and 14 to actually have thought of that but wow that didn't even register interesting yeah so if i've got like a blocker type thing just look on the back and come around oh yeah nice little lesson there okay so we didn't do that and we dropped loads of points like minus seven points and captured so we're still an advantage but it's like minus 0 0.2 my 0 0.3 that's neither here nor there so really and truly uh, it's almost like a draw drawn position brings the rook across and we crack catch up a pawn so we're now currently because they've come down and i wished for it because the way that they positioned the rook, I thought, well, he's coming down to put a check on. I was actually going to move my king here, but then I realized that our bishop is um, covering this square. So if they forget themselves, then we can actually take it. So at that point there, uh, we were laughing like Larry there. And then all oh, this is pretty straightforward after that. So, yeah, I think in this game, it is more about, about losing well thinking i'm losing the advantage because of the misplayed pieces even though i had misplaced pieces they weren't that impactive apart from that one move where there was a checkmate position which obviously is looking backwards you know and as a chess player myself looking backwards is quite hard looking horizontally as well especially with the queen maneuvers that's quite hard i'm trying to learn that and this looking backward thing i'll need, really need to put that into my mental rolodex uh, to kick that playing that would have been an interesting situation there so yeah we just took the game forward and at least you know we played our pieces together we took advantage of um the weaknesses that the opponent gave to us giving us a rook so that's not too bad but got to be mindful that when I'm doing a strong opening, I've got a strong attack, strong advantage. Got to keep and maintain that and not do silly moves that really aren't as impactive as what I want them to be.